Hey everyone and welcome back to our next series of FAQs or the next part of the FAQ series. Today I want, would like to discuss with you if you could leverage existing hardware in the data center and make it a validated or integrated solution for Azure Stack HCI. That's a question we are often getting from customers who are already invested in, uh, in hardware, maybe for Nutanix, for uh, Hyper-V, VMware, and they're saying, okay, there is a server it's similar to, to what I have at, or what uh, HP or, or Dell, etc. offered me for HCI. I would like to take that investment and use it for HCI. As you know, there is only supported, or we have a if we have a hardware catalog, which which the hardware needs to be in to be supported by Microsoft and the vendor for the solution. Otherwise, the operating system will not be supported by Microsoft. Um, in now here comes the case of decision, or here, here comes the here, here the possible options of what you can do. Mostly with the integrated systems, you don't have much of choice. Um, those systems are highly integrated from a driver perspective, firmware integration, or even diff have they have different hardware then regular servers, especially Dell AX nodes. It's, they, they're amazing as in hardware itself, but even if they share the same motherboard with, uh, with the PowerEdge servers, they have different firmware, they have different drivers, the integration in, in the Windows Admin Center and OpenManage is different, the chassis is different. Uh, it's, a comp it's a complete different line of product. There is no option to make them an AX node. So power edge to AX is not possible. And there are a few others out, out there. I think it's the same for Lenovo thing, Edge IO. It's also hard to make them HCI nodes. So um, that's basically it. Those nodes integrated, you can always ask the vendor, but integrated nodes are hardly to uh, to make or to validate because they are different product lines they're mostly different hardware with validated solutions like from HPE or from uh, <clears throat> from others like Supermicro for example those solutions have validated hardware which means that's their standard product line. It's their standard pro client servers. And what you just could do there is taking that hardware list, going to HPE and say, hey, I want to use that for HCI. What should I invest? What do I need to buy and put into my server? What parts do I need to exchange to get this uh, this chassis, this server, revalidated as an HCI solution. And what we often see when when revalidating servers or when we are working with re revalidated systems is that the vendor says, okay, remove the RAID controller, just put in the SAS controller, add more disks or exchange the disks for maybe I only had HDDs, yeah, you need some NVMEs or SSDs in addition as cache. Um, or, and, or not or, it's mostly a must in most systems. You need to add network controllers with RDMA, like the NVIDIA Mellanox ones, the um, Marvel ones, uh, so that you have RDMA for storage. And then, if the vendor says, yes, we exchange all parts and now it's like, like you, we have it in the hardware catalog. You maybe update some firmware afterwards and then you should be fine and you could reuse these investments. So that's basically it. When, look, when, when looking into, into integrated solutions, it's quite hard as it is mostly different product lines, different firmware, different drivers, different integration. But with uh, validated systems, as I said, from the example HPE, it's mostly exchanging or adding additional hardware. 
and then you would have a validated solution. Maybe you need to order a few more also additional switches or something, but you can order it, especially with HPE Gen 10, which is still out there, Gen 11, which will come or is already there. Um, you, it's just exchanging a bit of hardware. Same for Supermicro. It's just exchanging hardware. So you, you could leverage that investment and maybe need to invest in a few components and then you can revalidate. And then you can use it for HCI. So that's basically all for today. As I said, there are options out there, but there are no goes at, the po at some point, which aren't possible. But be free to use. If you have any issues or if you want to, uh, if you want to ask more, just use the comments below. I will link you the hardware catalog. And if you like that, give us a like, subscribe our channel. We will do more of those videos. We will also bring more and larger content in the future, which is time consuming, but we, we, we had some, some great discussions throughout the last month, which we want to put into more videos. So um, have a great one and see you in the next.